Clinton blames social media for her 2016 election loss, then calls for censorship before 2018 elections. Twitter responds by Christina Layla for thegatewaypundit.com. Twice failed presidential hopeful Crooked Hillary is still complaining about her crushing 2016 election loss, and now she's calling for social media censorship by the midterm elections. The Democrats, uh, quote, communists, know they cannot win honest elections on their ideas because they simply do not have a clear message that resonates with American voters. Hillary Clinton sounded the alarm Monday. She knows the 2018 elections are around the corner, so conservatives on social media sharing articles and ideas must be censored. The irony of Hillary using Twitter to call for social media censorship. Uh, She's allowed to express herself, but the peasants must be stifled. Hillary tweeted, We should all care about how social media platforms play a part in our uh, democratic process, because unless it's addressed, it will happen again. The midterms are in eight months. We owe it to our democracy to get this right and fast. There you have her tweet. The social media giants are fiercely working to deplatform, shadow ban, and censor Trump supporters, conservatives, and Christians only. They constantly accuse us of being Russian bots. Gateway Pundit's founder and editor-in-chief, Jim Hoft, along with fearless warrior, Uh, Pamela Geller recently held a panel in Washington, D.C. to address tech giants silencing uh, conservatives through algorithms. Guerrilla journalist James O'Keefe recently busted Twitter with undercover videos wherein Twitter engineers admit they shadow ban and suspend Trump supporters. YouTube is purging and demonetizing conservatives as well this week. InfoWars founder Alex Jones was hit with a second strike from YouTube and faces the possibility of using his YouTube channel, uh, which has a tremendous following. Um, During the election, the Gateway Pundit was the fourth most influential conservative news source. Following the 2016 election, Harvard and Columbia Journalism Review funded research with money from the Soros Open Society to find out what happened. What they found was that conservative Americans wholeheartedly rejected the liberal media and went online and to social media to find the truth. Since the election, the Gateway Pundit has been continually blocked and shadow banned by Facebook, shadow banned by Twitter, sued and ridiculed by the far left and GOP elites. The left wants us completely silenced. Hillary got savaged on Twitter from conservatives. Gab, a social media free speech platform, hammered Hillary. Uh, You're not going to stop the free flow of information on the internet. You are not going to censor free expression. You are not going to stifle individual liberty. Eat crap. Translated, the elite should start getting serious about the social media problem that exposes us all for our lies. Unless we start shutting those uh, plebs up, uh, it will happen again. The midterms are in eight months. We owe it to our donor class to get this right and fast. Kafir, what a pathetic person you have become. Can't take responsibility for yourself. It's always someone else's fault. You wasted billions of dollars and still lost. Know why? For starters, Benghazi. B. Miller, the idea that social media was unfair to you is comical to the point of being farce. A farce, I would say. Yet, here you are on social media complaining about social media. Be brave, leave the platform, and be an example to all of us. Mm -hmm. Said the woman who has Google in her left, right, front, back pockets. Right? 
Laugh out loud, Hillary spent four times more than Trump on election, and she w has the audacity to whine about digital promotion cost? Laugh out loud. So what you mean is censor conservatives on all social media platforms to prevent from sharing the truth about Democrats before the midterms. God is with us, you wicked woman. God is with us. Vote red, vote red, hashtag vote red, and help save America from the left. I agree. Yeah, yeah, she has some nerve and her Soros backing also. They want, the Sor she's a puppet for Soros anyway. That's why she's got to work for Soros, whether she's dead, she has to take something to revive her in order to work for Soros. She's a Soros shell. That's it, you know? Uh, bottom line, let me know what you guys think in the comments below. And again, thank you so much for watching.